you have never felt anything. Anybody as strong as me, and you're never gonna feel any pressure like I'm gonna bring to you in that fight. I do not stop coming forward. It is a known fact. Every fight, I come forward and I do not stop. Yeah, you're just, you're a buster, dude. We're not worried about you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not losing any sleep over this dude. I'm going to bed like a baby every night. Can't wait for the easiest fight of my career. My last fight, April 25th, he came on, third fight or whatever, started running his mouth. And uh, we weren't gonna respond to his little, you know, you know, little trash talk, I mean, it doesn't really matter to us. Um, then we were trying to get him matched up against VDOT, he said he wasn't gonna fight VDOT, so, you know, coaches, you know, all came together and said, so, you know, we'll just, you know, give Lex what he wanted. At first, he tells Ryan, no, we're not taking this fight, we're fighting at 170. And then all of a sudden the guy like wants to fight me. So like I'm, I'm confused in the situation really. Like do you want to fight me or do you not want to fight me? If you want to make the fight exciting, you want to give the fans what they want, why don't you stand in front of me and bang with me? I dare you to. He has this like shaved head, kind of like mine a little bit, but he comes down like wall. Shout out to my barber. I want to talk about my haircut. Uh, next level more as well. My haircut's not that bad. You're just mad because I'm prettier than you. That's it. I don't know who cuts his hair personally. I'd love to know, you know, just that. Because, like, I guess he goes to, like, the uh, Great Clips right off of, uh, what, uh, what, 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 what's that road called? <laughs> Dude, I think you're a weasel. Uh, he, he's like a WWE superstar. I don't think MMA's for you. I, I watched one of Lex's fights for Ryan. You got beat so badly, you kept getting hit and falling. Like, I, like it looked like you just did not belong in there. Like, I, I, like, I'll give you props, you know. That's the only thing I'll give you. You're a mediocre wrestler and you got balls. That's it. That's all you got. And that's all you gonna take you so far. The guy is a, a one-trick pony. He has no wrestling. He was getting beat up by a 13-year-old boy in the middle of a cage at uh, Extreme Cage Combat 20. Literally, I don't even know. I don't even know how he got like. Like, I don't know how that fight was sanctioned. Like, I, when, he, when the dude walked out that he was fighting, I legit thought the dude was a 13-year-old boy. Like, I didn't know that, like I, I, like, I looked to the right and I said to my buddy that was sitting next to me, I was like, yo, dude, is this guy 13 years old? I guess they're having a grappling match with the guy who's wearing gloves. I'm like, who the heck is this guy fighting? I think he has no striking. You know, I'm gonna hit him, and he's just, he's gonna bottle up. Um, you know, his, his wrestling's mediocre. I mean, I'll give him that. My wrestling's better. Um, you know, take down defense, you're not gonna take me down. I'm, not, I'm probably the hardest fight you've ever had in your life. I don't care about this Carl Robinson dude you fought. Um, that I mean, he's so prideful about. It's like, it's like fighting a kindergartner. There's, there's like, you know what I mean? Like, I just gotta hold his head back. That's all I have to do right there. Pull on me, swings a little bit, kick him in the face, falls down, tap him out. I just, I just love how the dude just doesn't, Oh my gosh, he just doesn't think I'm good or something like that. Like he acts like this is gonna be the easiest fight. He's never felt pressured like I'm gonna put on him. I was taking, in high school, I was taking down 285 pound men when I was 230 pounds. I fight 205, I was taking down 205 pound men. I would love to know how you walking around at probably 190-ish is gonna not allow me to take you down. I've, I've never not taken down somebody I have ever fought and it's gonna be no different. I'm gonna need one takedown. That's all I'm gonna need. Next question. Your takedowns, they're mediocre. We're, our wrestling's a lot better. The wrestlers that come in NPR, look at our wrestling coach, Chucky e. Connor. Who's better than that around this area? Who's better than that on the East Coast right now? Nobody. You're not gonna take me down, and that's the only thing that we're training for, for you. We're not worried about my hands. What are you, you're gonna cage press me? That's nothing. That's nothing at all. We, you know, we're ready to go wherever it goes. If he thinks I'm just gonna wrestle him the entire fight, then he just he has another thing coming for him because I mean his his stand up is very childish. Uh, you know, like and again, my striking is you're not even near my tier. Uh, takedowns, all that jujitsu. We'll see how it goes. If he even get me there. Uh, my style of fighting is more freestyle. Like I said, I'm comfortable wherever it goes. My takedown defense is getting. Phenomenal. My takedowns are phenomenal. My striking is, you know, if there's tears and, you know, whatever, I'm hanging with any top pro that I go with. Burke? Justin Burke? What does he do better than me? This might take a while. We might be here for a year. I don't know. Maybe get weird haircuts. I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, this is my last fight at 185. We, won't, we only stayed here to fight this kid. 
because he was talking trash and he turned down B dot. I heard. Um, so we stayed here to fight in 185. My very first fight in 2012 was at 170, and I'm going back down to 170. Um, that's that's it. So you know, my goal is I'm not stopping until you're paying $60 to watch me on pay per view. Actually, I have a one last message for you, Justin Burke. Now, I don't want you to like get any like cold jitters or anything like that because I know when you uh, you know agree to fight me, that was probably the scariest thing that you've ever done in your entire life. You probably like were you know shivering about it at night. But I don't blame you. I mean, look at me. I'm the not only the best looking dude, but the most intimidating dude that XEC has to offer. You know what I mean? Like stands and bangs with me. He's gonna give me what I want. I'm gonna give the fans what they want. I'm not the one that's gonna be dropping. So, and rope work around the res, you want, you want to retire me. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You're in my way of going, making a long career, a professional career, so bring it on. So, I don't want you to have last minute things, because I heard rumors speculating that if I miss weight, if I'm over 186, that you will not fight me. Um, that is the most coward thing I've ever heard in my entire life. If I train, for six months or something like that, and the dude is 15 pounds over. I'm still going to fight him. I'm not afraid of any person. I have hatred for you now, and I, I like that I'm using my camp to channel my hatred for you. We're gonna, I'm gonna come out in that first round. You better keep your hands up, because if I hit you on the jaw, night night. And you're gonna be laying on the floor, and I'm gonna be standing over top of you, doing the Ric Flair strut, going. Woo! At the end of my, <laughs> oh, I can't wait, oh my God.